We are back. We have been joined by Susan Kelsey, gerontologist. We're talking about some fun stuff. In the previous segment, we were talking about kind of advocacy, if you will. Mm -hmm. And again, we were talking about pre-planning funerals mm -hmm. and all kinds of fun stuff yeah. like that. And when it's time to call Greg in. And now it seems like with the holidays coming, it, it seems like it's an emotional time, sort of a vulnerable time when families get together. Do you find in your business that it is a, a a particularly difficult time? It can, it can be. What for some people will be a very joyous time, mm -hmm. a time when they're very excited and engaged. For people who have dementia, Alzheimer's disease, which is one form of dementia, it can be a very stressful time. Disorienting, uh, almost confusing? Y yes, very, okay. yes, it can be. What a lot of times people are thinking, oh, I'm going to bring grandmother over here, or I'm going to bring dad over here. And then there's so many people there, it becomes just chaotic. There's too much noise. And I, I counsel people on how to deal with these issues of wanting to include your parents or your grandparents that have always been part of your holidays but you may want to tone it down a little bit. Okay, I've got my pen and paper ready. <laughs> <laughs> what are some, what are some well, words of wisdom for you? Yeah, well, I, I think instead of, let's say, having the big holiday party and bringing grandma over at that time, maybe having just a few people over. Many times at this point, they don't know um, whether it is Thursday or whether it's okay. Christmas. Yeah. And you, oh. so you can have your holiday celebration or have a special time with them with just a select few people there. Um, a lot of times I say if they have a caregiver, bring the caregiver. And therefore, if things That's get a little great. bit hectic, okay. yes, yes, somebody, yes, yeah, somebody, somebody who they trust, they yeah. can be with that person, and that person can help them stay calm. And if need be, they can remove them from the situation, stay with them for a little while, and then come back. Or perhaps they just leave altogether a little bit early. Um, and you want to try to do things that are familiar. So if Grandpa always said the blessing at Thanksgiving, grandpa says the blessing. then okay. Grandpa says the blessing. Because that's it. something he can be comfortable with and be familiar with. If grandma always did the gravy, then let's see if grandma can't help with the gravy again. Mm -hmm. um, Christmas carols are all those things. Yes, okay. those are very familiar things. Those are things to, to maybe get the person calmed down again um, by doing some of the things that they are very comfortable and familiar do with. Do you find that with family, okay, because all the families sure. together for these holidays, do you find that that's the time when all at once the kids decide they're going to talk to mom and dad about funeral arrangements or if we need to have help for mom or dad or I mean how do you how do you suggest since it's oftentimes you you were mm -hmm. saying the only time kids get together yeah. now because yeah. they're yeah. how mm -hmm. do you do that how do you broach yeah. those subjects um, I I think to answer your first question I think you do get after the holidays and, and Greg may back me up sure. on this you get uh, more calls because yeah. all of a sudden oh, okay people have been with their, their parents or their grandparents, and all of a sudden, they're, now it's not over the phone just. Mm -hmm. Over the phone, you can fool people when you're exactly. there. That's a great point, and they do. Yeah, yes, yes. They can, everything can seem to be okay, but when you get there, then all of a sudden, you are visualizing that the mail is stacking up, that there maybe isn't enough food in the refrigerator, or there is old food in the old refrigerator. Food. Old food, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and you start to see that, um, maybe one of your parents is not changing their clothes regularly. Those are the things you can't see over the telephone. Um, so that's one time when people do start realizing that there have been some changes in the past year. Can I ask you a question sure, with that? Sure. How do you then start out with having someone come in? How do you assess what their needs really are. Is it, I'm, I'm thinking, is sure. it about changing clothes? Is it more about no, old great, food right. in the fridge? It's a great question. And if we're fortunate enough to have Susan or someone that, that gets to the family first, then, okay. then obviously Susan educates us on what's going on. If not, usually we identify it just by being called in for after a hospital stay or something like that. Once we go in, okay. we send a nurse in analyze the situation and find those situations like she's talking about. And the one thing, the dangerous part, is the non-compliance with medication. That's really what oh, we Oh, I never yeah, even thought about that's that. That's what we find a lot. 
with folks and, and the kids when they come in over the holidays, that's, that's one of the reasons the phone rings a lot. Okay. They, they start to see that. Yeah. How do people find you? Um, if they that's find you, they can find Jim and they can find sure. this yeah. young man. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, one of the interesting things is um, most, I, I should say about 80% of the clients for geriatric care managers are out of town adult children. Okay, no, I meant out of town, town adult. adult children. Okay. So they are doing just this around the holidays or they're, they're coming in for a birthday or they're coming in in the summer and they're um, seeing the changes in their family members and then they will either if they're familiar with um, geriatric care managers they will um, go to our website okay. from our association and try to see if they can find one okay. um, or they may call their doctor or okay. they may f um, call somebody at their their church or synagogue. So now my daughter calls about mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm ticked mm -hmm. because all at once I get a call from you saying, you know, right. Right? Yeah. Your kids were down. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. no. Well, I won't call I won't call you. Uh -huh. I have to be brought in. So okay. that, you know, I we come up with a scenario. Does that happen? Um, yeah, it, yeah, it happens. We <laughs> yeah, it happens mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the way we come in is either through somebody calling us directly and making sure that the family member knows that we are coming in or they are there Got it. when we are there. Okay. So we've, we just, we're, we're not able to just go into a home. We're not um, a, a, a county agency. Okay. Right, right, you have to be invited. Yes. Well, Susan, thank you so much for joining us today. Jim, thank you. Thank you, Slice. Nice to see you fun. again. Fun. It's yes. really fun. It's really interesting, and I think it's so appropriate for the holidays and Definitely. lots of knowledge. Lots of stuff. It's fun. Thank it you is. for letting thank me you. come. Thank you so much. See you next time.